Hi, my name is Tom and I've just finished my final year studying civil engineering here in Southampton. I'm going to quickly talk you through my university experience to highlight why I chose Southampton and to introduce you to some of the things I've been able to get involved with. The first year of my course was intended to introduce the foundations of what it means to be a civil engineer, but also gave me the opportunity to rain check my own knowledge to ensure I was at the same academic level as students arriving from all over the world with different entry qualifications. A highlight for me was when my entire cohort spent a week away at the National Construction College building large-scale replica famous structures. In the second year, I continued to build my understanding from the theory learned in first year, applying this to more real-world situations and with greater detail. As I moved into the third year, I had the opportunity to specialise through my optional modules and also completed an individual project, which is our equivalent of a dissertation and is a year-long research project that allowed me to bring together a lot of what I'd already learned and what I was continuing to learn, but with my own objectives and ownership. I self-proposed a project to investigate novel ways of reinforcing the ground beneath buildings. Not something I ever thought I'd find interesting, but with the support of my supervisors and academics was something that I really enjoyed and gained a lot from. As I moved into the fourth year, which I've just finished, I continued to tailor my modules to reflect my interests, but this year with a particular focus on industry and career prospects. In every year, I completed a group design project where teams of four to six students worked together to design towards a defined brief building from structural based projects in the first year through to larger scale major infrastructure design in the final year. In my first year, my team won the Civil Engineering Design Prize, where we designed and manufactured a steel bike frame style truss, which we installed between a retaining wall and a window ledge on campus. This year, I completed a year long group design project, which had a significant proportion of my final mark. My team self proposed a project with industry support to conduct design work on one of High Speed 2's new stations in London. As a team, we had an opportunity to visit the site and see the start of the construction work and also to meet the design and architectural teams at their offices in London. The support I've had throughout my degree, both academically and pastorally, has been fantastic. The academic staff within the Faculty of Engineering have all been incredibly engaging and the university as a whole have a series of networks in place to support students struggling in areas beyond their academics. For me, university was never going to be entirely about the course and joining clubs and societies was always something that I was keen on. I did a beginner's archery course, I played some squash, I had a go at some gymnastics, the options were endless, and the nature of student-led societies meant that I had the opportunity to try lots of different things and work out what I wanted to commit to. I became involved with the Civil Engineering Society and organised a trip to London to tour some key infrastructure projects, including a talk at the Shard from one of the structural designers. I've also qualified as an event first aider with St John Ambulance and provide clinical support at the University Sports Ground for student sports fixtures. Volunteering is something that's really important to me. In my first year, I joined a student-driven international development charity called Cameroon Catalyst, who are currently delivering a series of clean water wells to villages in Cameroon. As part of the student team, I've been involved with the design and fundraising for the projects with support from industry specialists who check our work. At the end of my first year, I traveled out to Cameroon to choose the location for the charity's first three wells, and this year led the team in Southampton to deliver the charity's sixth well. Southampton also offer a corporate sponsorship scheme for civil engineering students called the Success Scheme, which pairs successful students with civil engineering companies to complete placements with and for the prospects of graduate employment. I secured a place on the scheme in my first year and am sponsored by engineering consultancy WSP, who are most known for designing the Shard. I completed summer placements at the end of my first and third years and spent a whole year working for WSP between my second and third year. These were all great opportunities to get a feel for what it's like to work in industry and also gave me the opportunity to genuinely apply what I've been learning, but in the context of real projects. Off the back of this, I'll be starting with WSP as a graduate in September, working with their local government discipline on transport related infrastructure projects in Hampshire and Dorset.